Today's company is inspired by a lot of storytelling and literature with scents like The Peacemaker and The Poe. Today, I bring you The Bearded Raven. Let's come check it out. <laughs> going on everybody i'm glad you're here with me once again as always i appreciate each and every one of you that stops by the channel if you like what you're seeing consider hitting that like and subscribe button i appreciate each and every one of you as i mentioned today we are talking the bearded raven the bearded raven is ran by a one-man show andy out of arizona he was previously located in kentucky but now lives in arizona I reached out to Andy. I saw on his Instagram he was looking for reviewers. He kind of had a mixed ball of reviews. Some people were liking things. Some guys weren't liking things. So I reached out and said, hey, man, I'm looking for content. Send me some of your stuff. I really enjoyed trying it. And it was here within probably two or three days. He was really quick with getting me these products. Um, the name's kind of inspired by a lot of literature and writing that Andy does. He, uh, he names his scents after people he's wrote about people he's read about or friends of his that have wrote about and we have got three oils from Andy today we've got this is the paladin we've got the peacemaker in the rogue sense today all of his uh labels look fairly similar they're they can be very hard to read I noticed the very front of these they look good the black the gold and then you get over here where he kind of hand stamps each logo the name is right below here and then the ingredients, it's very hard to read in person. So I know it's going to be even harder for you guys to see it. It looks pretty good here, but it is very hard when you get up on it with that black and the gold. I would like maybe, you know, a color change a little bit would make things much easier for, I mean, even me to read in my bathroom. I have to turn all the lights on just to, you know, kind of read what scent I have. That's kind of one change I would definitely consider making to the labels. The first scent we're going to go over is the Paladin. We have got, it is a, uh, a sandalwood, French lavender, cypress, rosemary, and bergamot scent. And yeah, I would say this is probably my, my most favorite out of the three scents he sent me. I get, it's got, a, it's got a woodsy scent. It's got the lavender. You guys know I like to wear lavender at night. You definitely pick up that cypress. And yeah, I, I really like this scent. It's not strong. None of the scents he sent me are very strong. I noticed some for three, four hours, and then it's basically faded away. They're just not a very, very strong scent. Definitely not an all-day scent. His viscosity here, I would definitely say it's kind of a, a medium, medium to light viscosity here with these oils. The feel of beard is great, but as I said, you know, you just don't notice the scents very long. His blends, he's using are kiwi seed oil, avocado oil, sweet almond oil, castor oil, and fragrance and essential blend for these oils here. Very nice. I like the front label, but yeah, just the back, it just gets very, very hard to read back here. These oils are going to run you $13, and he offers free shipping, so that definitely helps out. Next, we have got the Peacemaker. It is labeled as a Day by the Lake, Cedar Atlas, Red Spikenard, Earth, Water Lily, Jasmine, and Vanilla Bean. Oh, I, I, I like this scent. It's an aquatic scent. It definitely, you know, you get the jasmine, you get the lily. Uh, it's very kind of aquatic-y, rivery uh, scent to me. Almost kind of like a, a fresh rain, which I like the smell of a fresh rain. But once again, yeah, it's another very, very light scent that... uh. I wish it just lasted a little bit longer in beard. I like all day scents. So when I get a scent that lasts me three or four hours, um, it's just kind of a bummer. But like I said, the feeling beard is great. It's kind of a medium oil. Uh, it goes in nice. It feels good all day. Just the scent, you're not going to notice it all day long. Last but not least, oil-wise, we have got the Rogue. The Rogue is probably my least favorite scent out of these three. It is a complex blend of earth, cactus, cactus flower, leather, clary sage, fig, and rose. And yeah, I just, ew. I'm just not a fan of this scent really at all. I'm not picking up the leather like I was wishing I would. You get a little bit of the earthy kind of scents that he was going for. Ah, I, I, I don't know. This scent just didn't work for me. It's not, 
I'm having problems just kind of picking up anything. You do get a little bit of the earthiness. I was hoping for a little more leather. Um, you don't get too much sage in there either. I don't know. Maybe it's the cactus, the cactus flower that I'm just not a fan of. But if you're a fan of that scent, all of these oils might work good for you. They just didn't work for me because I prefer an all-day scent. The feeling beard, I will say, was great with the oils. But the, uh, you know, kind of the scent duration was kind of a letdown for me. Like I mentioned, the oils, these are going to run you $13. And I've got his balm. The balm is his, I believe it's the Rogue scent. So the Rogue, it's going to be that that earthy, it's going to match that last oil. Um, it's kind of got an earthy scent to it. Um, it's got a decent hold. Uh, I would say fairly light though. And it looks just like this here. It's very soft. You can pretty much just crush through it here. Definitely emulsifies pretty easily. His balms, he is using Maruru butter, premium beeswax, basusu oil, a kiwi seed oil scent, and um, blend, or essential blend and fragrance oils. So that is what I was trying to get out of my mouth here. It emulsifies very easily. Super, super soft. It goes into beard very nicely. Um, but I would say I wish, if when I wear a balm, I'm going to want it. I don't like to wear balms in the first place. But when I do, I want a very good hold. I want a long-lasting hold. I want it to hold those flyaways in. And it did a pretty good job. But kind of just like the oils with the scent, it didn't do it for very long. I would say, you know, maybe four or five hours I had a decent hold on my beard. And then it kind of just went back to its normal wild ways. Last but not least, oh, and as I said, the balms, these are going to run you $16, and everything is free shipping, so I'm not going to say free shipping after every single thing. Last but not least is his butter, and this is in the Peacemaker scent. So the Peacemaker scent, like I said, is a kind of an aquatic -y scent to me. It's got the uh, Cedar Atlas, Red Spike Nard, Earth, Water Lily, Jasmine, and Vanilla is what it was labeled as in the oil. I don't get that at all. With this butter this was definitely my least favorite thing that i got from andy it this does not smell good at all i don't know if it's the the uh the ingredients he uses he's using uh capicua butter maruru butter basusu oil kiwi seed oil scented with a complex uh essential and fragrance oil blend i i didn't use this much butter it looks like i used a lot uh there was kind of like an air gap in it so when I did start to kind of get into it, it kind of like broke upon itself. But let's see if I can get a... It's very soft. It emulsifies very, very easily. It goes in beard nicely. It doesn't leave a greasy feel. But I did notice within about three hours, my beard was feeling pretty dried out again. Like I needed to go put more oil and more butter in. So this butter overall, performance-wise and scent-wise... This smells nothing like the aquatic -y scent of the Peacemaker like it says it's supposed to. This is, uh, I get really nothing but the blend that he's using with the butters in here. There's not really much any scent at all. It is not, not my favorite scent of a butter. Uh, I would really like to have like a redemption for the Bearded Raven in this butter because the scent I am getting out of this butter is not good. It's not pleasant. It smells nothing like the Peacemaker. So I would definitely like to try, you know, a different butter from Andy. Hopefully I get a little bit more of a scent there. Um, the butters, they're going to run you $22. But like I said, it's, uh, after about three hours, my beard did not feel good. I like to wear butters during the day. I like to wear them during the night. I was putting this in during the day. I only wore it three, three times. I just couldn't stand the smell. And I also, it wasn't performing like I needed it to. I'm not going to wear a product for very long if it's not going to do what I need it to do. So hopefully, you know, maybe a little, uh, a little messing around with that blend a little bit and also getting it scented a little bit more like the oil. This butter will perform a lot better. Um, if you guys want to go check out the Bearded Raven, they, I will list everything down below. They're on Instagram. I will tag Andy and as well, everything here is a good product. Just, you know, some of it didn't work for me. Everybody's beard's different. Um, the oils, I would say definitely probably the best product from the Bearded Raven that I got to try. The balm was definitely the second best. It's just, I wish it had a little bit more hold to it. 
and the butter, I just I just wasn't a fan of the butter whatsoever, uh, performance-wise, scent-wise. I just, it didn't work for me. It might work for you. If it worked for you and you've tried the Bearded Raven, let me know. I do know Andy was working on two, uh, two new scents. I don't want to say them right now because I don't know if he wants that information out. But I'm kind of hoping maybe it'll be a revival for uh, the Bearded Raven for me. So I appreciate you getting these out to me, Andy. I like that you gave me a try. Um, you know, some of it worked for me, some of it didn't. Uh, let me know down below if you guys have tried the Bearded Raven and if it has worked for you. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Peace out. I love you. We'll see you next time.